Doctor Doom is slightly broken because Petrify doesn't apply. Bluetooth controllers can be used with MCOC and Aegon is broken. Again. Yes, good day and happy Friday to everybody. It's the 8th of November edition of Marvel Contest of Champions News. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button with post notifications on, all those lovely things. Without further ado, let's delve into these news stories. No jumping this time. We start the news off with this particular story here. So yesterday I posted a video that kind of said that with two energy spend you could get to a mercenary target. That was wrong because you could actually get there with one energy. My apologies, but check out this here. This is posted by MCOC Journal. I know Frojo's posted something as well. Again, very sorry, but check it out here. Also, if you want to see graphics of the rewards you're getting from the side quests, go to Marvel Contest Champions Trucus, as you can see here. Oh, that's very nice. Obviously, if you were watching one of my videos on Wednesday, you'll notice I did mention something about this ship. Like, this is weird. It's like the first time I've ever kind of noticed it. And I wasn't the only one. Shout out to KAO on Twitter for sending this through. And yeah, this is... Now, what is it? Is this Kang ship? And obviously, people got the nail on the head with it. They're like, yeah, it's Kang ship. Josh even finding the graphic of the version that's on marvel.com with Gabe. Hey Gabe, even saying that, hey, this is the ship called Damocles. Sticking with the story narrative, and we've got news. Yes, it looks like Galactus will arrive soon. Galactus to MCSC confirmed. That's a little WrestleTalk reference. If you don't watch WrestleTalk TV, you won't get that reference. But in any case, the fact is, this is really exciting. It looks like the contest is gonna end. Who do we call? Not Ghostbusters, but actually Silver Surfer, who's somewhere out in the cosmos, just floating around on a surfboard. Bit lazy, get involved, mate. We're all really excited to see Silver Surfer come into the game, and I feel that this is gonna really turn the story around. And maybe, I don't think we'll see actually Galactus himself in any kind of graphics, but maybe we'll see something like the first Fantastic Four film, where you see like uh, a hand or some sort of nod to that particular character, rather than anything so substantial. But I could be pleasantly surprised and I'm hoping with this champion that he gets put into the five star feature that's on the 17th of December. It kind of feels like it would work out that way, but I just don't know if that's the case. Fingers crossed though. Next up, and I think we've had one of these instances where a character's been put in with interactions which we'd assume to be in the game but aren't in the game, and that is the petrified debuff is not stopping Doom's aura of Hazarath. So in this quick video, the SP2 is put in, Petrify is applying and there is the aura of Hazareth, so it's not working as intended. This was very quickly passed on the game team in order to look at, and even though it looks like a fix was pushed, this may be very much specific to one character. Now what about the other characters? Because then people started saying about, well, well what about Cap Infinity War? So far there is no update on Cap Infinity War. I really hope this is sorted out because I know a lot of people use it as a lead champion. If I can give you some more information, hopefully I can do that. But I'd probably say wait until you find more information out on the forums before making the decision to go into that particular difficulty of quest. Maybe do the other ones and then leave the Doctor Doom fight until this has been sorted out. One big bit of news coming out in the last couple of days was that there is announcements for Act 6.3. In Act 6.3, it sees something unique in that you will need to use boosts. And these boosts will go against buffs. Boosts and buffs. Sounds like a name of a rubbish rap group. Boots and Buffs. Um, all that beatboxing. Boots and Buffs and Boots and Buffs and Boots. That sounds like Boots on Cats. Anyway, whatever. The fact is, look, a lot of people will care about what's what's going to be happening with these, these types of buffs you're going to be going against. Go to the link in the description and give it a full read. I'm not going to waste your time by reading this all out in one particular news article. But I think the most important thing is what is the spend? Spend has been confirmed, it's three energy per tile, as uh, obviously as we know, and seven to 10 fights per path, which is a usual-ish thing with act six, 30 nodes per path, approximately 540 energy for quest mastery. So take with that as you will. The rewards, I think this again is one of the most important things. 30 five star signature stone crystals, 180,000 gold, 9,000 tier two alpha fragments, and then we've got 126,000 tier 2 alpha catalyst fragments, which is found in chess, nice. 540 units, cool. And then the chapter completion, this is where things get tasty. Tier 5 basic catalyst fragments, 33,750. Six star hero crystal shards times 6,000. Mm. Uh, <laughs> five star hero crystal shards, 12,000. Five star rank up gem, one, that's two to three. And then we've got three to four. Tier 2 alpha catalyst times two, cavalier crystal times three. Gold, one million. One million. 
Chapter exploration. This is a, this is probably the most most important one. Tier five cast catalyst cast catalyst fragment crystal, uh, special crystal that contains twenty five percent of a tier five class catalyst, and not the regular tier five class catalyst fragment crystals. Tier uh, so five star rank up gem, which is the uh, three to four three to four. Mm, yeah, I, I don't know. I kind of thought rank five would have been applicable there, but tier five basic catalyst times two six star hero crystal shards eight thousand. That's better. Five star hero crystal uh, shards, 20,000, good. Tier two alpha catalyst times five. Cavalier crystal times five. Gold, 1.5 mil. Yeah, there's a few things I'm like, mm, could have put something a little bit extra. I can imagine they're probably saving that for act six, chapter four, which uh, will probably be out at some point next year. But yeah, like, what are your thoughts on this? Put it in the comment section down below. Also sticking with the subject, this is something of a clarification. The boosts are not stackable. You can have one, only have one active at a time. So make use of it guys. Next up and let's talk about controller supported. Now I like skills put out a great video about this a while ago. If I can find it I'll put it in the link in the description. But I like the idea of playing with a controller. As this is something that's been really kind of pushed at the moment you can do it with Android. I think you can get something that's coming soon that's for iPhone uh, and like the way that that would work would just be so different and new. Kind of going in and voyaging onto this kind of console game idea I think a lot of people have kind of wanted MCC to go down the route of and also when it comes to like maybe something that meets the arcade version. Either way it's going to be cool to do this. I just did a quick search on some stuff with Apple and finding out what they do but they only do like the supports so there's nothing really in play it's only Android for this. But Caban Mike basically says, hey there, we have some support in game for controllers, but do not plan on expanding that support anytime soon. Basically, if you're playing on an official supported device, in brackets, Bluestacks is not, that supports controllers natively, you won't be banned. But your experience may not be great, and we won't be able to assist with controller related issues. And then the thread breaks down into people talking about the idea of cheating Bluestacks and the, it gets closed. Usual, usual practice. Either way, it'd be exciting to do this. I may get an Android device just to kind of play this out and see how it is. So that would be quite cool. MCC on a controller. I know people are doing it at the moment, but make sure you are above board and follow the processes and procedures with the terms of service. I think things get a little bit confusing is the pairing side of things and what is actually legit and you're actually allowed to do and what you're not. Because the theory at the moment is going on some sites, it looks like Android and the way that this works with Android 10 is that if you had an Android device, you could pair it up with your controller. So I could take my PS4 controller, I could get an Android device and pair them up, which is a weird concept, but hopefully it's not breaking any kind of rules. And now on to very important news, and that is the Aegon Shield Synergy situation. Yes, videos were being posted up left, right, and center. There's a forum thread which we're going to go through now about this because people were using their Aegon, they love their Aegon. But when it comes to the, the combo shielding, because let's face it, yeah, you don't want to take damage, but there's sometimes where there's unavoidable circumstances. So you dropped inputs here, so you swipe back and you stay static there. It happens that you need that combo shielding. And for whatever reason, it looks like that this isn't working. So Cobb fan posted this particular video on the forum showcasing that when he gets hit, he loses his combos. Where in time, there should be a combo shield that pinged up there rather than him completely losing out. On the 5th of November, it was reported that Kabam Zibit was taking this information to the team in order to take a look at. There's no update at the moment. I mean, from the looks of this, I know that they were looking to find out node interaction. I just don't think that is gonna be helpful to the cause because a lot of the times, a lot of the imagery and stuff that people are posting is predominantly just standard questing, going from battle to battle or going against those really high combo needed targets like Red Hulk in Labyrinth of Legends or Realm of Legends Winter Soldier, even for the people that were doing the farming of health potions in Realm of Legends. So. That is annoying, and if we get any more updates on the situation, I'll let you know. Maybe on Monday, um, maybe it's going to be midweek. Who knows? Now on to a nice little end to Marvel Contest news, and that is a video that was sent through from Flack Diesel. Thanks very much, Flack, for sending this through, and it's a little crystal opening, just to put it, just a little treat for the weekend, and I'll see you in the outro card. Man, it's always good to pull a OG Thor 5-star because it's like he's just a trophy champion. 
but I know a lot of people do use him in some sort of capacity, especially with those armor breaks. Either way, amazing pudding. Thank you very much for sending that through. As well, thank you very much to you guys for watching as well. Hit the like button, subscribe, check out some other content posted here. I may post another video today. If not, there will be two videos that will go out on Saturday. One will be a crystal opening with M, and also looking at her account, which is like level 20, level 23. So yeah, check that out. I'll see you then. Bye-bye for now.